everybody it's Leslie with Leslie's creations and tonight we're going to do a another tutorial with chalk couture and I am going to show you this cute little board that I found I believe I found it at like just Michael I mean uh, Walmart or something it was just a little little wood um, wooden board that was plain and I painted it so um, sorry when you come in say hello let me know you're here um, anyway um, I painted it it was just a regular wooden raw wood board and I painted it I first did black and then I did gray and white and kind of distressed it a little to bring out the the uh, gray and a little black on it um, Actually, before I start, I think I want to take my little sand block again and do just a little bit more on the edges here and see if I can bring out a little bit more on the edge. Then I'm going to actually um, uh, put some wax on this. When you have a surface that you've actually painted yourself, you may want to use some wax. The wax I use is Paste Finishing Wax. Now this is the neutral color and uh, it's just a plain, plain color wax. Really doesn't um, add any color or anything to your surface. Uh, they do have a dark, a special dark, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the, um, sorry, I'm gonna take this off the table just for a second to see if I can get these edges a little bit more. Um, but I'm just going to use this just so that when I do my, um, when I do my paste, it won't pull up my, my paint that I've done. So let me get a little bit, I'm trying to get a little bit more of these, maybe a little more of the edge come through and I really don't want to make a bunch of noise with this, but by hitting the table, but I was just trying to pull out a little bit. This is just a sand block I, I had. I mean, it's not anything big. Just wanna pull up some, some, a little more of the underneath color on this. All right, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's all I've done. I just painted it with the three colors, and then I, uh, as you saw, I did a little more uh, sanding on it just to pull up some of that, that background color, give it a little, a little bit of a, of a little more depth. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paste wax and I usually just use like an old piece of t-shirt. To put this on here and I'm just going to get some on a t-shirt and just go over it now using the wax I know some people don't use the wax so it just depends like where the humidity is where you are in the humidity and the air and everything sometimes you don't have to do the wax so I just I do just to be safe because I don't want it anything to to pull up and once I pull up my transfer and think I have this beautiful project and then I have a hole in my paint. So you don't wanna have that happen to you. So all I've done is added the paste, the wax, and uh, just gonna kinda buff it off a little bit. You just It's just a wipe on, buff off. This board is kinda slippery, so it's moving around on me. Okay. Sorry about all the noise, just closing that up. I'm going to use with my uh, transfer are our black it's also called black velvet uh, and shimmer gold so those are the colors I'm going to use so hopefully everybody is doing well today I am getting ready for an event on Saturday at Big Town 
It's the Big Town Gun Show. And it'll be Saturday and Sunday. If anybody is in the area and wants to come out and see us. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to do what we call fuzzing. So I'm gonna lay this transfer down on our, our fuzzing cloth. This cloth here is a double-sided cloth. It has a microfiber on one, I mean a, excuse me, terry cloth on one side and microfiber on the other. The terry cloth is used for the fuzzing part of it and that takes a little bit of the adhesive off of your, off of your transfer. The opposite side that's the microfiber is for like drying. When you wash your transfer after you finished and you dry it, the microfiber side helps pull all that water where you've uh, cleaned your transfer. It helps pulls all, pull all that water out. Okay, now this is going to actually just fit on my, on my uh, board here. So I'm gonna have to make sure I get it really lined up perfectly so I can get all of the W and all of the B. Okay, well, thought this was gonna be real simple just to lay this down. Just wanna make sure I get it right. There we go. Now, you wanna make sure when you smooth out your transfer, you want to smooth it out completely. You want to make sure there's no bubbles in it or anything. So if you've picked up any fuzz off of your fuzzing cloth, then just make sure you get all that off because you want it to be smoothed down to your uh, surface so that no, you have no possibility of bleeding paste underneath. So I think what we're going to do is I am going to use our um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the gold in for the wife and the boss and the black for the mom but I think I'm going to do the crown in the gold too so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the gold since I'm going to do that on the two places but I'm, but I'm gonna go straight down my transfer so that I don't have to, to uh, work so fast. So I'm gonna do the gold here on the wife, and then I will move on to the black, and then I'll go back to the gold instead of doing gold, gold, and then coming back in the middle and doing the black. So all you wanna do is use the very edge of your squeegee. You can lay it down because this, this uh, shimmer paste is thicker. So it does tend to kind of clump up on your, on your squeegee. But what you wanna really do is use the very tip edge. Let me show you with this one, the edge of the squeegee here to pull the paste through. If you're using it flat down like this, it just tends to kind of flatly pull it and it doesn't really push it through that silk screen. It just kind of moves it on top. Hopefully that makes sense the way that I said that. Just kind of just kind of makes it sit on top. It doesn't really push it down through the silk screen and that's what you're wanting to do is make sure you push it down through that silk screen. Now once I finish this little crown here what I'm going to do is what we call the paste and peel method. So I've pasted all of this section and I don't want this paste to dry on me. Sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape off all my excess on here. You will scrape off all your excess and you can put it back in your jar and save it for the next part. I'm just gonna lay it here on my lid because I am gonna use it. But what I'm gonna do, this is the paste and peel method. So you paste and you're gonna peel up the part that you've just pasted Give it a little second to breathe. Then you're gonna lay it back down. Don't press too hard or anything. Lay it, hey, Melissa, lay it back down. Now I did notice when I pulled this up, I am gonna kinda try to press here a little bit, take my squeegee and go over the edge of this cause it looked like that that didn't get there at the edge of the crown. Now I'm going to make sure that I have all my area here Press down very well. 
Then I'm going to move to my black and use my black for the mom part. And again, I'm just using that very edge of the squeegee to push it all down through that open silk screen area. Just want to make sure that's what you're doing is just pushing it all through that area. Scraping off any excess that you have. Making sure you get all the tops of the letters and everything. Now putting that back in the jar. And I'm gonna go back to my gold for this bottom part. I'm gonna just wipe off what was on my squeegee and add just a little bit more. Cause like I said, this gold, this shimmer color is a little bit thicker and therefore it takes, sometimes it seems like it takes a little bit more to get it to all go through. So we're just going to kind of wipe off that excess off of your squeegee and then use that edge to push it down through that open silk screen area. Make sure I get all the letter. Well, oh, I've got plenty on there and just wipe that down. some more on here to finish this but now you can put on there as much as you want if you put a whole lot and you don't need it like I said you can just put the excess right back in your jar you don't have to worry about it the only time you can't put the excess back in your jar is if you're mixing colors so if you're doing like the hot mess technique where you end up blending several colors together you don't want to put that back into one jar because then you can contaminate all the color so okay get that and we're gonna do our peel now it looks like here on my bee before i even get it done good i'm going to try to see if i can't smooth this out some because it looks like it didn't quite get on my bee there we go let's see now we'll peel it up okay there we go it's got a little bit of a distressed look on the bee there and i think that is supposed to be that way i'm going to look at it when i get to my transfer i'm going to clean my transfer here in just a second now if you don't like the way the distress looks here i can show you how to fix that you can take a paintbrush let me see if i can tell on my silk screen if that is supposed to be that way or if it's possible that my, it could be just that my paste clumped just a little bit, which is not a big deal. So you can take a paintbrush, I'm gonna use a more pointed one. Let me find one that's got a little bit better bristles, there we go. And you can take some of your, some of your chalk paste and just lightly lightly dab you don't want to actually brush brush on this because you don't want really the brush stroke marks and I'm sorry I'm turning this a little bit sideways so I can see a little bit better Get a little more of the paste I'm gonna kind of clump it up a little bit on my on my paintbrush here just kind of pulling through the top layer of it. You really don't want to paint paint it because if you do, you could end up with the brush strokes. You really don't want the brush strokes. Just that little edge there. Now with this little spot that I have right here, I'm going to grab one of my, my Swispers that I have. Put the rest of this on this little spot up here. Okay. I'm going to grab one of my Swispers I have right here, which is a really tightly woven um, Q-tip. I'm just going to come right at the very edge right here and just kind of make that edge just a little bit sharper. So, there we go. So there we have our wife, mom, boss uh, 
little plaque on a um, little wooden board that I made, that I not, did not make, excuse me, that I found and painted. <laughs> and um, just used chalk paste, chalk paint. Golly, I can't talk today, guys. Sorry. Chalk paint. And I did three layers. I did a black, a gray, and then white, and then just kind of sanded it down to pull out all the underneath colors. So now I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my jars, but I wanna show y'all how I clean my transfers. That was what I wanna do. I'm gonna pull my transfer, uh, my water bath over here and show y'all how I do, how I clean my transfers. Cause I know I don't show y'all that. I do that off the camera a lot. So I wanted to show you how, how to take care of your transfer. something and get this jar cleaned up super quick okay and we're gonna move our board out of the way now I'm going to go ahead and warn you my water bath the dish that I have my water bath in it's got a whole bunch of different colors of paint paste on it so it is kind of dirty sorry the the actual tin itself or bucket itself is is <laughs> not the best but it works so none of the other colors or anything on there it's just kind of stained so it's not a big deal um, but what I do is I take my transfer whoops get this out of the way I'll take the transfer and I will just actually just sit it in the water okay and press it down hey Nancy and then I will take my uh, board eraser and I will just rub across all the all the, the silk screen and the actual transfer itself and I will just rub it down now you can do this you can use it do it in the sink you can do it you can just spray it down and actually clean it like I could put it on my mat here I just like to have it in the tub of water just because it's just works easier for me. This is the way I've always done it. If they're larger transfers, I do have to take them like into the bathtub because I don't have a huge sink. So the larger ones I usually do take in, into the bathtub. But you wanna just go over the whole entire transfer and just get off all the paste out of that open silk screen area. And if it happens to stain the teal part of your transfer, that's not a big deal. You just want to make sure that your open silk screen area is what is all clean. And sometimes this shimmer paste will leave some some shimmer, some kind of glittery part back behind. Hey, Keely. Um, so, but that's okay too. If it if it leaves the shimmer on it, it's okay. Again, as long as that open silk screen area is all clear, that is the main part that you want because that's where you're pushing your paste through to make your, your project, your uh, plaque, your wooden surface, your chalkboard, your shirt, whatever it is that you're using. But, okay, I've got most of this done. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna turn it over a little, give it a nice wipe across the back. Okay, and I'm gonna sit this here and I'm going to go ahead and kind of shake it out a little. I'm going to lay it on here on my, my surface so y'all can see a little better. And just kind of still try to get the, the paste off. Now again, this the open area, if that still has some of that glittery look on it, that's okay. It, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna harm it but you do want to kind of try to get it as clean as you possibly can. Okay, now I'm gonna take it, lift it up, turn it over, and wipe on the back side too. Just, whoops, don't want to stretch it. Now, I have just a regular microfiber towel over here that I'm going to just clean up my area. 
And then the way I like to dry mine, and you can do it whatever's easier for you, I like to lay mine out flat on a microfiber towel. And then I take a second one and I place it on top and I just pat it out. Go ahead and put this out of the way. And then I will take the top towel and I'll just kind of wipe across just to get any excess water that happens to be in there off. And then as you can see, it's already sticky again. So I'm gonna turn it upside down though, just make sure, kinda wipe it down just a little, make sure it is dry on the back side. And as you can see how sticky it is again, <laughs> trying to get it wiped off. Then I'll take my backer And try to lay it down on here you can do it either way backwards or on top sometimes it works when I do it this way sometimes it works better when I do it the other way so but you just want to make sure you get your backer your uh, transfer back on your backer because you want them to you want to you want to protect them the best you can so the better you protect them by putting them back on their backer and back into their uh, to their protective covering or in a uh, binder whatever you have as long as they're on your back on the backer itself that's that's the most important part and you want to make sure that it is on that shiny side that's why we actually put something name on one side so you'll know which side is the back and which side is the uh, side the transfer goes back on so once you're finished, then we'll stick this back into our little plastic holder. And it is ready to be used the next time. So there we have all of our utensils cleaned up and our transfer cleaned. And we have our project finished. So let me pull our project back over here. Get rid of these towels. And there we have, excuse me, our wife, mom, boss on our little, was a raw wood surface that I used black, gray, and white chalk paint on. Distressed it a little bit and then used the black velvet chalk paste and the shimmer gold. So there we go. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this little tutorial tonight. And if you do, um, if you did enjoy this and like my, uh, I would really appreciate it if you would like my page. Thank you, Nancy. And uh, if you're not a designer, please share and share the chalk love so we can get it out to more people. And um, I also will be putting this, once I save it right, <laughs> putting it onto my Instagram that I have and um my youtube channel i will be adding it to both of those places so that you can visit either one of those so again thanks for hanging out with me and and watching if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out to me i would be glad to answer any questions for you and um like i said in the beginning i will be at big town this weekend so i may not have a live on saturday um i'll be at big town gun show saturday and sunday uh with all my chalk couture goodies and finished products that will be available for sale as well as a product if you would like to come out see me and pick up something to try yourself so thanks for hanging out with me y'all have a great evening and i will see you soon bye